kabisa katika jina la Yesu Kristo ni asante bwana kwa kuwa ni Mungu mkuu na kuna aliye kama wewe katika jina Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kuamini sema amen kwa Yesu makofi mazuri praise and worship let's appreciate praise and worship praise of your bible say this is my bible Please have your Bible. I want to see your Bible. Say, this is my Bible. This is my Bible. And this is where I read what the Lord says I am. Hallelujah. Jipigia makofi mazuri. Raise up your, 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 your notebook. Raise up your notebook. Say, this is my notebook. And this is where I write for remembrance what the Lord says I am. What the Lord says I am. What the Lord says I am. Jipigie makofi mazuri. Kama ukana digital inua say this is my Bible. But as from today, I cannot read it from the church. Jipigie makofi mazuri. Genesis chapter 4, verse 10. Genesis chapter 4, verse 10. You may be seated. You can stand up. We read the word, whatever. So give me Genesis chapter 4, verse 10. Genesis 4, 10. Naenda araka kwa sababu ya muda. Mungu atatusaidia. Let's read together. One, two, three. Go. And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cried unto me from the ground. Let's read again. And now, watch up, usitu changanye, King James Version, let's read, one, two, three, go. And he said, what hast thou done, the voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground, from the ground, from the ground. By us all, by the voice of the blood, by us all, by the voice of the blood. That is our topic of today, hallelujah. Bible saying that, uh, Give us NIV. Give us NIV so that we can flow. So, the Lord said, what have you done? Listen, your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. Cries out to me from the ground. When you read the Bible in chapter 4 of Genesis from the beginning, you'll understand it is what our, our, our elders mentioned today. That two brothers went to give a sacrifice and one of the sacrifices was received by Christ, but the other one was rejected by God. Then from there, wakanza kuwa na ugomfi kama jamii ama kama familia. Na one of them killed the other. Amen. Alipo uwa yule mwingine, mungu anamuliza, kaini yuko wapi dugu yako. Anasema kwani, am I my brother's keeper? Hallelujah. The arrogancy of that man was on another level. Hallelujah. I thank the Lord and I pray that in our midst that arrogance cannot exist. Say my amen. amen. Say my amen. amen. Then God says unto him that what have you done? Because listen carefully, your brother's blood cries unto me from the ground. Christ unto me from the ground. What am I saying? That the blood has a voice. Tell your neighbor blood has a voice. Now blood speaks upon a man and can speak against a man. Hallelujah. This blood was speaking against Cain who had already killed the brother Hebel and he had already even buried him and he thought that no man can see him but I want to tell you when the blood started to cry, even when God in heaven, he seated in heaven, he could hear the sound of the blood crying. Hallelujah. Men of us, I have come to speak to you today because I have come to realize uh, the foundation of our families, where we have come from. Uh, men of us, we have been uh, hearing voices calling us, and they are voices of the blood. Hallelujah. Pali ni metoka katika kuzaliwa, kuna wakati liku inafika mahali ya kwamba, kama ni kijana, ameenda vita na kijana mwingine. Aki mumwaga damu, na nikisema kama ni ukweli wambwe, you will confirm that, our elder. Amen. Ukijaribu mupigane, amwage damu. Amen. The wazee will arise, come to that family, and try to negotiate. Because they believe that that blood will come to own this man. Hallelujah. That i damu itakuja kujulizia katika i familia. So what do we do? We silence it before it comes to haunt us. So there are these mysteries of 
the blood that as Christians we need to understand because the Bible says that the covenant that we are in the covenant the new covenant of the Lord Jesus Christ has been established by the covenant of the blood by the sealing of the blood of Jesus Christ are we together so wakati nasema damu ninaongea kuhusu why Leviticus 17:11 what does it say Leviticus 17:11 I hope we are moving together 17:11 for the life of a creature is in the blood. Uwai wa kila kiumbe uko katika ndamu. That's why when we go to hospitals, they are, uh, when doctors try to examine you, wanafika mahali wanakulisa, na kwenu katika uko wenu, kuna historia ya magonjwa haya. Why? Because in that lineage, there is what we call the blood that each and every one carries. And in that blood, tunaweza kuwa identified kupitia kwa hiyo damu. So wanataka kujua ni kitu gani kinafanyika katika uko wa kwenu. Kwa nini mna gari? Maana damu ina uwezo katika maisha ya mwanadamu. Nasema damu ina uwezo katika maisha ya mwanadamu. Hallelujah. Give me Hebrews. I'm laying a foundation then I'm going to show you some few things and we pray. Hebrews 12:24 because I came to realize sometimes when we are studying the Bible tunasemanga ya kwamba tunadwell sana watu wanadwell sana na the Old Testament we should also dwell with the New Testament amen wacha tuone pia New Testament what is it saying about the blood to Jesus the mediator to Jesus who the mediator of what a new covenant and to the sprinkled blood that speaks a better word than the blood of Abel the voice of the blood Raise up your hand and say the voice of the blood of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. Of Jesus Christ. Speak to me today. Speak to me today. Let us start our text today from the main text. Exodus chapter 12. Give me Exodus chapter 12. I want to show you how these voices were speaking. Are we there? 12 verse 7. Kiona mtu analala or you are allowed to shake him or slap him. Oh, ah, hallelujah. Aya, one, two, three, go, let's read. Then they are to take some of the blood and put it on the side and top of the door frames of the houses where they ate the lamp. Jump to verse 13. Tutaenda kusoma hiyo chapter yote. Chapter verse 13. The blood will be a sign for you on the houses where you are and when I see the blood I'll pass over you. No destructive plague will touch you when I strike Egypt. Verse 23. Verse 23. When the Lord goes through the land to strike down the Egyptian, he will see the blood on the top and sides of the door frames. And will pass over that door. And he will not permit the destroyer to enter your houses and strike you down. Verse 29. At midnight, the Lord struck down all the firstborn in Egypt. From the firstborn of Pharaoh who sat on the throne. To the firstborn of the prisoner who was in the dungeon. And the firstborn of all the livestock as well. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Amen. So, wakati tunangalia maandiko ya the word of the Lord in the ex book of Exodus kwanzia chapter, uh, chapter 12 kwanzia mstari wa kwanza utasoma mpaka mwisho pale. Utaenda unjisome. Tunaelewa ya kwamba it came a time when God needed to, to, to set free the children of Israel kutoka kwa utumwa kwa kiwa katika mungu wa misiri. Hallelujah. So, Iyapo fika ule wakati wakuotoa pale alitumia Musa kuwaendea pale lakini ikafika wakati mambo yote imefanyika ishara zote zimefanyika miujiza yote imefanyika lakini bado farao amekausha moyo wake haleluya farao bado amekausha moto moyo wake amekwamilia watoto ama wana wa Israeli 
anasema amuondoki maana alipokuwa anawaona wakiwa katika maeneo yale alikuwa anaona wafanyikazi alikuwa anaona watu wanatenda na kuletea utajiri katika nchi yake but lord saw people who oh, were supposed to come out of captivity to go and worship him to go and worship him so what did he do he raised there was raising of an altar which was sealed by the blood same the blood the blood the blood the blood of the lamb so moses is being given instruction in that first verse ya kwamba mtachinja yule kondoo na mtapaka katika malango yenu na mimi wakati nitaachilia malaika wa kifo atakapokuwa anaingia katika kila mboma na kupata lile damu limepakwa pale katika malango yenu he will be passing over sema pass over sema pass over every calamity by the blood of jesus it cannot touch us it is going to pass over us itaenda kutuvuka itaenda kutuvuka nisaidie tu na amen leo haleluya itaenda kutuvuka katika jina la Yesu Kristo akawapa maangizo go and the slaughter in the eyes of the egyptians waliona ni kwamba ni upusi unaendelea waliona ni kama ni mambo ambayo hayaleweki na ndio maana ninaambia wa Kristo siku ya leo ya kwamba when we got born again we ought to do things in a crazy way we ought to do things in a crazy manner wakati tuliokoka tulilazimika na tunapaswa kufanya vitu za, ki, za kiungu kiwazimu wazimu sema wazimu wazimu sema wazimu wazimu as long as we have had the lord speaker we ought to do things that the world cannot understand so they have slaughtered the lamb and they have applied the blood and when the egyptians were thinking that uh, these men we are crazy now the night of reckoning came when the night of reckoning came the bible says uh, that the angel of death came and uh, crossed or passed over the doors of the of the, of the israelites but when he landed in the houses of the egyptians morning was everywhere today we declare by the voice of the blood of jesus every camp of an enemy they shall mourn every camp of an enemy they shall mourn kama mwenzako asemi amen chunga sana anaweza kuwa ni one of the participants ancient boko haleluya every camp of our enemies they shall mourn today by the voice of the blood of jesus not by might neither by power but by the spirit of god who has given us the revelation to understand that when we invoke the power of the blood it speaks i want to tell you this afternoon that this was just a blood and mere, mere blood of the lamp ili kwa tu ni damu damu tu ya kawaida ya mwana kondo na maandiko inasema ilifanya kasi ilifanya kasi watesi wa wana wa Israeli waliomboleza kifo akijaonekana duniani maana kama mzaliwa wa kwanza kuanzia wa wanyama wa, wa mpaka wa wanadamu alikuwa lazima na aliaga haleluya they died that calamity has never happened why because the voice of the blood was speaking i was reading the bible and i realized in genesis chapter 4 when the brothers of jacob took a uh, joseph took all of him and they decided kwenda kumuuza it came a time wakaanza kubishana haleluya so they went and they hid him on a dungeon and when all the brothers came back akapata hakuna he told the brothers that let us slaughter a goat let us slaughter a goat and apply the blood in the rope that we may take it to the father oh my god they did know that by that blood that they shed that touched the ground it was for the preservation of joseph i declare in the name of jesus by the voice of the blood of jesus christ you are going to be preserved you are going to be preserved corona 2030 can come mangi pox can come but the blood of jesus will see us through i say the blood of jesus will see us through but we ought to understand where the journey of the covenant of the blood began so that we may head somewhere lazima tuelewe hii maankano ya damu ilianza wapi haleluya that's why i have taken you to the old testament so that you may understand because every altar in the raising of an altar may it be the altar of god may it be the altar of the other dark world kingdom there is and there must be a blood that is involved lazima kuwe na damu ambayo itatumika pale 
hiyo hujasikia maana wewe umezaliwa ukiwa mlokole sio kama sisi wengine tuliona wakichinja haleluya there must be involvement of the blood true or false that when they want to raise altars in families you will see them slaughter when you ask them what are you doing they are saying that uh, this and this neighbor they are troubling they are troubling us we want to raise a fence to protect our lives and the other time then the, 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 the preacher who was here was preaching daniel yakwan he told us about what is happening in our roads amen i thank god in our in our whatsapp group yeah gideon i shared something amen you saw them what they were doing they were slaughtering and they were pouring blood why are they pouring blood are they mad people because they understand that when that voice of that blood starts to speak every other voice is silenced every other voice is silenced where life spots or starts to speak the other things are silenced the other things are silenced au kusikia hiyo the other things are silenced let's see uh, what are the works of the blood what are the works of the blood what are the works of the blood shall move fast because of time Number one thing, give us Exodus 24.8. Exodus 24.8. Moses then took the blood, sprinkled it on the people and said, This is the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you in accordance with all these words. We use the blood, it is used for sealing of covenants. Sealing of covenants. Hallelujah sealing of covenants that if you saw your family slaughtering goats that is in Okambani they slaughter goats but i came to understand at kikuyu land they slaughter what do you call them kondo kweli si kweli they slaughter kondo amen when that activity took place in that family no matter how born again you are no matter how you run to us or you run where as long as you has not prayed against those covenants they are going to haunt you why you call the bloodline of that family au kusikia hiyo hata uende marekani hata uende australia na uliona kwenu wakichinja na baba yako akatoa sandaka na wakamwaga hiyo damu kama ujaomba ukajisconnect na hizo madhabahu bado hiyo damu inaongea kwako bado hiyo damu inaongea kwako bado hiyo damu inaongea kwako that's why today we are going to declare by the mighty power from the voice of the blood of Jesus every other covenant which were raised by our families by our forefathers in our nation Kenya in our families today we are going to revoke them in the name of Jesus and we are going to raise a covenant associated and connected by the blood of Jesus Christ the one and the only blood with the power amen Give me Hebrews 9:18. Hebrews 9:18. This is why even the first covenant was not put into effect without blood. First covenant was not without effect without blood. Now he's talking in in the New Testament whereby we have the second covenant. Hallelujah. So number 2 we use the blood Ephesians 1:17. Ephesians 1:7 1:7 Ephesians 1:7 Follow me closely In him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sin in accordance with the riches of God's grace In accordance with what I want for 7 alone for 7 Let's read 1 2 3 go In him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of sin in accordance with the riches of God's grace. So number two thing, blood is used for redemption. Right redemption. Redemption. Hebu tuweke hiyo maandiko kwa Kiswahili ili tupate kuelewa what is redemption. Redemption. Kobozi. We have Kiswahili redemption. So by the blood we are redeemed. Sema tumekombolewa kutoka kwa kupitia kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo tumekombolewa kupitia kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo. So if we are redeemed by the blood, it means also we can also be slaves by the blood. Hallelujah. 
if we are redeemed by the blood, then it means also we can be slaves by the blood, unknowingly or knowingly. Are we together? I have come to realize that uh, even there are some of us who are sitting here, and when they were young, they made covenants, amen, to their young friends, girls and boys, through the blood. Amen. Am I right? But those things, as long as your blood came into contact with another blood of another man, of another woman, no matter how your marriage is prayed uh, here in this altar, unless you provoke and you cut out from those altars, those covenants, it cannot stand. Because the blood of the covenant is speaking. You didn't hear that. Because Medicine, the blood of the covenant, it is still speaking. It is still speaking. So if we are redeemed by the power of the blood, we can also be slaves by the blood. So we are going to take advantage of this knowledge to pray ourselves out of the slave, out of the captivity that we have been made captives through the blood. Katika yeye huyo kwa damu yake tunao ukombozi. Redemption ni ukombozi. Redemption ni ukombozi. First, uh, number three. Give us Hebrews 9.22. Hebrews 9.22. Hebrews 9.22. Let's read 1, 2, 3, go. And God placed all things under his feet. No, I said Hebrews. This is Ephesians. Hebrews. Yes, 9.22. In fact, the law requires that nearly everything be cleansed with the blood. And without the shedding of the blood, there is no forgiveness. There's no what? No, so number three a blood secures salvation. Secures salvation. And the salvation, we say salvation is uh, when you confess your sins, they are cleansed and you are forgiven. So now we can say that you have received the salvation. So the blood of Jesus has given us salvation, has secured our salvation. When the people of Israel were in Egypt, that blood that they applied on their doorsteps is what gave them redemption. Is what gave them salvation. Dio iliwaokoa kutoka kwa umateka. Na ninatangaza siku ya leo. Katika jina la Yesu Christo. Yeyote ya lie chini ya mateka. Ya aina yeyote ya uofu. Kwa damu ya Yesu. Tunatangaza kabla imbada kuisha. Utaondoka ukiwa uru. Ninatangaza utaondoka ukiwa uru. Kabla imbada kuisha. Utaondoka ukiwa uru. Mana damu ya Yesu. Inenao mema. Koliko damu ya aberi. Inasungumusa katika ibada ya leo. Na inasungumusa katika madhabao haya. Ambayo ya naitanishwa. Na mungu alie hai. Aishie mbinguni. Ambaye he does not consult a man. When he wants to deliberate another man. Hallelujah. Wakati alitaka kutoa. Wana wa Israeli kutoka misiri. Hakuenda kuulisa. Wale, wale wengine. The Canaanites and the Amalekites. Can I take my people from captivity? No. He rose up and he taught Moses. I have heard the cry of my people. Nimesikia kilio cha watu wanko. Kwa ile mateso wanateseka. Na kupitia kwa damu. Ninaenda kuwakomboa. Ninatangasa siku ya leo. Umelea ya kutosha. Unaokoka leo. Kesho unaanguka. Unaokoka leo. Kesho kuto unaanguka. Ninatangasa damu ya yeso. Kilio chako kimesikika. Itaenda kukusimabisha. Na ikudhibitishe. Katika wakofu wako. Mana akuta kuwa na maangano yengine. Ina na nena kinyume nawe ni maangano tu ya damu ya Yesu itakayo nena katika maisha yetu may we secure our salvation in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus give us Hebrews 11:28 another works of the blood 1 2 3 let's read by faith he kept the passover and the sprinkling of blood, so that the destroyer of the firstborn would not touch the firstborn of Israel. We have said that uh, 
in Egypt, every firstborn died that night. But the firstborns, hello, Pakadaba, of Israelites never died. No one of them was touched. As long as you were in that house where the blood has been applied, that you were, you were preserved by that blood. In the name of Jesus, I declare, let preservation of the blood of Jesus come upon us. When the destroyer came at midnight, he could not access where they live. He could not access their homestead. Na tangasa wakati, uofu utakao inuka, na kuanza kwenye melea nyumba yako, damu ya yesu na ikakutete, damu ya yesu na ikakutete, wakati uofu utainuka, na uanze kwenye melea watoto wako, damu ya yesu na ikanene, let the destroyer be kept away by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. By the blood of Jesus. Wapendo wakati tuliokoka, tulipata a mark of the blood of Jesus. Wakati tuliokoka, tukasema bwana Yesu, siku ya leo nimekupokea kama mwokozi. We got that mark. And in every family, as long as there is a born again child, that child appears as a doorpost of that family. Appears not only as a doorpost, but a doorpost with the blood of Jesus. Ninasema kama umeokoka katika hiyo njamii, hata wawe wajaokoka, wewe umesimamishwa na Mungu kama kijiti cha mlangoni ambacho kimepakwa damu. Na as long as you are in that family, no destruction is allowed to come there. No destruction is allowed to come there. Ninasema hakuna uovu unatakikana kuingia katika nyumba yenu maana wewe umeinuliwa na pana as a post and he has leased the mark of the blood of Jesus so that you may preserve your generation wokovu si kuokoka kwa mimi peke yangu niliokoka ili nikaisaidie hata kizazi kijacho by fire by force by fire by force i raise covenant that lord almighty as long as I serve you, let my children be in line with your word in the name of Jesus. Wapendo wacha ni wampie, lipata ushuda mali. Mama frani, watoto wali musumbua sana. Haka ingia katika madhabao ya mungu. Haka weka manga. Uyo mtoto wakati alinuka kuenda kukunya zile bangi. Alikuwa na jaribu kukunya bangi, mama yake anuwa. aende kama mimi mamake nimeacha haleluya nimeacha ninatangaza wachawi wa kwenu watakuja wakuambie tumeacha kuroga maana wewe tunapokuangalia tunaona moto kwa macho yako tunaona moto kwa macho yako tulijaribu huyu mtoto wako tumeshindwa kwani siri ni nini waambie siri ni damu ya Yesu ambayo nilipokea ambayo nilipokea kwa kukiri tu kwa kukiri tu na nikasimama nayo in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus let that preservation be upon us lazima tukajielewe kama walokole tuliokoka kwa hiyo njamii namna gani we received Christ so that we may become intercessors of our families you didn't hear this wakati wa levi wa kwetu awasikizani na niko kwa hiyo boma hata mimi sihitaji kukosa kusikizana nafaa ni kuwe na utofauti na niingie hapo niseme mimi nikiingia lazima kuwe na amani mimi nikiingia niko na distinction that is the other thing that the blood of jesus gives it gives you distinction right that one blood of jesus gives you distinction it creates a distinction in your life it creates a distinction in your life exodus 12:13 Exodus 12 13. 12 13. It creates a distinction in your life. The blood will be a sign for you on the house where you are. And when I see the blood, I'll pass over you. No destructive plague will touch you. And when I, uh, when I strike Egypt, a distinction in your life. Wacha kukawe na utofauti katika maisha yako. Katika jina la Yesu Christo kama umeokoka ya ukweli na unasimama na angano jipya ya damu ya Yesu Kristo waacha alama hii ikakuweke kuwa mtu wa tofauti katika njamii yenu 
katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Let there be a distinction in your life, even in your career. Hata kwa watoto wako, wakaangalia watoto waseme, sijaona mtoto kama huyu. Huyu wako ni wakipekee. Sijaona watoto kama hawa. Hawa wako ni wakipekee. Why the blood is raining and speaking for those children? May the blood of Jesus Christ speak upon our children to create a distinction in our life. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Romans 5.9. Romans 5.9. Follow me closely. I'm about to finish. Then we pray. Romans 5.9. Since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we uh, be saved from God's wrath through him? Hallelujah. So the blood of Jesus Christ gives us justification. Justification. Amen. When you are justified, ni kumashia kwamba, kuna ukumu ilikuwa ije juu yako lakini imeondolewa. Hello? Kuna ukumu imeondolewa by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Ni natangasa yule alie chini ya ukumu. Mana mandiko inasema ya kwamba, there are those also are destined to death. To death. Amen. Kuna wale ampao wameachiliwa kwa anjili ya mauti. So, he is speaking now, by the blood of Jesus, we speak life upon our lives. And we declare justification. Justification. When there is justification, the benson of yesterday does not exist. Au kusikia hiyo. Wakati kuna justification, benson wanjana aishi. Ni benson waleo anaishi. There are people because of, because of condemnation They are still living the life of yesterday But when we are in Christ And we have the blood of Jesus Christ Speaking upon our lives Justification is upon us And the condemnation of yesterday Is no more Is no more Is no more I will be with them eternal As long as Oko na damu ya Yesu katika maisha yako Give me Matthew 26, 28. Matthew 26, 28. 26, 28. From the, it gives also the blood of Jesus Christ or the blood brings forgiveness. Brings forgiveness of our sins. So this is the, my blood of the covenant which I poured out for many for forgiveness of sins for forgiveness of sin so blood of jesus or the blood covenant of the blood brings forgiveness of sin forgiveness of sin um last but not the least also zechariah 9 11 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 Uh, brings freedom, right freedom, brings freedom. So, as for you, because of the blood of my covenant with you, I'll free your prisoners from the waterless pit. From the waterless pit, I declare in the name of Jesus. Every prisoner under my voice, you are free in Jesus' mighty name. You are free in Jesus' mighty name. Every area of your life where you have been a prisoner, we are coming out in the name of Jesus. We are coming out in the name of Jesus. Tunatamka mateka wa mangonchwa kupitia kwa damu ya Yesu Christo. Tunaontoka kutoka kwa mangonchwa. Tunaontoka kutoka kwa mangonchwa. Tunaontoka kutoka kwa mikosi. Tunaontoka kutoka kwa mateso ya waganga na wachawi. Kwa mateso ya diviners. Tunaontoka kwa maana wameinuka na wakiona tu utu ambaya na abudu mungu wa kweli. Wanataka kukamata nyota. Ninatangasa diviners by the blood of Jesus Christ. They have no power over your life. They have no power over your children. They have no power over your brothers in the name of Jesus. From the dungeons, those prisoners, they are going to be set free, not by might, neither by power, by the spirit of the Lord and the revelation of the blood of Jesus. Nina tangasa katika china la Yesu Christo, si uru wapwana ukawe maali yapa, si uru wapwana ukatembe nasi katika familia zetu, katika watoto wetu, katika kazi zetu, si uru wapwana ukanene mema katika maisha yetu, aninatangasa 
ukanene mema katika maisha yetu andui anapoinuka kutushika mateka na minyororo yake na ikavunjike kwa jina la Yesu minyororo ya mateso kwa damu ya Yesu na ikaontoke they shall be loosened why because there is a covenant that speaks up this covenant when it speaks up and we call it the covenant of the blood the voice of the blood tonight it shall speak up it shall speak up upon our ministry we declare the blood of jesus the blood of jesus atutafunga biashara tena maana damu ya yesu itakuwa inanena mema ninasema atutafunga biashara tena maana damu ya yesu itanena mema hata watoto wetu hawatakufa kifo cha mapema because the blood of jesus shall speak life the blood is life the blood is life leviticus tells us that in blood dwells life we preserve our lives by this blood katika jina la yesu kristo na kukawe freedom maishani mwetu in jesus mighty name in jesus mighty name revelation 12:11 Revelation 12:11 Revelation 12:11 What does the Bible say? 1 2 3 let's read. He overcame me by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. Did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. They overcame him who the devil the devil the enemy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of the Lamb. Jesus Christ is our Lamb. Jesus Christ is our is our Lamb. So we are going to overcome the enemy by that blood. Sijui ni wapi ambapo Shetani amekukalia, but I have come with this uh, revelation that the blood will set you free today. 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 Listen here. How do we invoke the power of the blood? Number one, by prayer. Number one, by prayer. Say my prayer. By prayer, we invoke the power of the blood of Jesus. We si amuka tu na ukitembea kwa parabara na sema tu blood of Jesus. Amen. You should pray yourself in that dimension so that that prayer can work, so that that blood can work for you. Amen. It's prayer. Number two is by revelation. By revelation, number two, by revelation. Revelation is that uh, you understand when you understand that there is a blood of Jesus Christ, which speaks better than the blood of Abel. That revelation will help you to come out of that captivity. Amen. Number three is by faith. Is by faith. Say my faith. Say my faith. Faith. Hebrews eleven one. What is faith? That one here on the knee. 11:1 Hebrews 11:1 What is faith? Faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see, of what we do not see. We don't see the blood of Jesus. Your naked eyes. Amen. And also we don't see the freedom that it gives, but we believe. We do what? Tunaamini. Kwa hivyo ili nguvu ya damu ya Yesu ikafanya maisha, uh, kazi katika maisha yetu lazima tuwe na imani lazima tuwe na imani tukawe na imani and bible says now faith now faith now now not tomorrow faith is not of tomorrow faith is not of yesterday faith is of now sema now now is of faith is of now so now now the blood of jesus will set us free by faith you didn't hear that kwa sasa kama si sasa wanasema ni sasa hii kwa sasa hivi basi Damu ya Yesu itatuweka huru maana tuna hiyo imani. Maana tuna hiyo imani. Hallelujah. There are people who oh, when they are in their dreams they are sleeping but what they dream of wanaota ya kwamba wanalishwa nyama ambazo ni beach ambazo zina damu what does that signify that these people they have tried you in the physical but they cannot get you so what do they do the other time tuliambiwa na bishop tukasomewa maandiko hapa i think it's in someone wakati Saul alienda kwa kuitiwa kuitiwa nini Samuel amen he went to the sorcerer that man was summoned and he came when he came we wanted to consult from him 
even when he was dead. What does that mean? That when they come and you are dreaming, that you are eating that flesh, that you are drinking that flesh, that blood, they are initiating your spirit. And little by little, the, now the body will also cooperate to those covenants. Au kusikia hiyo. Wakati wanakuja katika ndoto, wanakuletea hizo nyama na wanakulisha hizo damu, ni kumaanisha ya kwamba kimwili wanaweza kuwa wakufiki, lakini they have summoned your spirit. Now they initiate your spirit, then before you can understand it, the body now is being initiated. Ninatangaza kwa jina la Yesu, chochote walichokupea kupitia kwa ndoto, kukuweka kwa maangano ya kuzimu, tunaikatisha leo. Tunaikatisha leo tuna kuondoa hapo kwa jina la Yesu nasema unaondoka katika hicho kifungo kama unataka kuondoka utaondoka kama unataka kuondoka utaondoka there are people i have received testimonies that people somebody was pregnant and in the dream he dreamt that a man came with the blood in the hands then when the morning came or even after two days now bleeding starts and without without no dead for few days you miscarry you miscarry you miscarry why there is a covenant somewhere that was looking for blood and that kid because in the kingdom of dark god they use the blood of the young and even the, the young kids yo wanatumia Ndio maana unasikia mahospitali mtoto hata hajakufa lakini kitu inafanywa hivyo na anapotea lakini tunatangaza wakwetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo wataachilia 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 ndio maana unaona kwa barabara ajali zinafanyika wanaenda wanaangalia mili imeanguka na unaangalia hakuna hata tone la damu why the dark kingdom understands the